The chair recognizes the gentleman from California for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. It should be obvious to all of us that the, the nation that will not enforce its immigration laws has no immigration laws. If it has no immigration laws, it has no borders, and if it has no borders, it ceases to be a nation. Um, this is the, the crisis that the Biden administration has unleashed by its deliberate decision to open our borders to literally millions of illegal migrants. It, its effect is now being felt across the country. It's, its impact on our schools, our hospitals, our social safety net, law enforcement, public safety, and national security is absolutely catastrophic. One part of the uh, crisis caused by this administration is before us today. It's the constitutional tension between the governments of the states that bear the burdens of mass illegal migration and the federal government that has, has caused it. Uh, fortunately, though, we've got a constitution that establishes institutions that are designed to resolve these tensions, these disputes, and the greater the strain that these issues place upon us, the closer we need to hew to that Constitution. Immigration law is an enumerated power of the Congress. That should be indisputable. National defense is an enumerated power of the Congress. That, too, should be indisputable, with the exception of an actual invasion when states re uh, retain their, their sovereign right to self-defense. But at the center of today's hearing is, is how do we resolve these disputes arising under the Constitution, and that's the reason we have a third branch of government. This question is the rightful province, not of the U.S. Congress, but of the U.S. Supreme Court. Under our Constitution as Americans, we owe to it, in the words of the Mayflower Compact, all due submission. So this uh, brings me into agreement with the minority on this, uh, this narrow but critical point. The Constitution must be upheld in all matters. The Supreme Court has ultimate jurisdiction over legal disputes arising under that Constitution, and this is never more important than when we're in a crisis, and this is a crisis. Let me ask the majority witnesses, well, what am I missing? Go ahead. Uh, you're missing that uh, the the courts don't decide everything under the Constitution. No, they decide disputes arising from the Constitution. This is a dispute between the state and federal governments over what constitutes an invasion and what, me and, and what measures the states can legally take uh, within the sphere of an the enumerated powers of Congress involving national defense uh, and, uh, and immigration. Right. Uh, co courts decide uh, cases in court. Uh, controversies in court, if this goes to court, and it is before the Fifth Circuit now. Well, it's, it's uh, a dispute arising under the Constitution. Isn't, yeah, yes. Wh where else would be court, the, the, court. the constitutional form to resolve such a dispute? We don't disagree about that, about that but what courts can do is, uh, is say that this issue is non-justiciable. It's a political issue and send it back to the states. The courts the could do government. that. The and courts were not interested in talking about what an invasion was. The, the, the courts, the, you're, you're absolutely right, the court, but, but that still is the province of the courts, not of, of, of the Congress, not of the administration, and certainly not of the states. I, I, would, I would agree, I okay, would just, well, I would just resist to hear that. Let me, let me, to let me, the let me just go on. First of all, any, any other thoughts from the other majority witnesses? I, I, I think Congress could authorize the states to enforce immigration under their congressional powers. It could, exactly right. And, and I, th I think that's the whole point. Congress can enact new laws in, in concert with the Constitution. It can propose changes in the Constitution uh, to, to the states. And, and, and from that standpoint, you're in the right place. We're the legitimate place to, to propose changes to the Constitution or to uh, change the laws under that Constitution. Um, you know, the, the, the fact remains, the issue is not going to be solved, though, by, by bills that won't be signed or, or laws that won't be enforced or funds that will only be used to expedite more illegal entries into the country without expelling any. Um, and it's not going to be solved by replacing one leftist official with another. Uh, it's going to be solved by the American people electing an administration that's actually dedicated to uh, enforcing our laws upholding our nation's sovereignty and defending our country. Uh, but um, uh, this is not a place to resolve the disputes uh, arising between the states and the federal government. That belongs to the courts. Um, the enforcement belongs to the executive branch. It is not doing its job. 
This was set in motion by the American people that elected that administration. I tell them, you know, if, if, if you voted for this administration, this is exactly what you voted for. And if you're surprised by that, you weren't paying any attention because this is exactly what they promised to do. This is exactly what they've done. And this is exactly what they've defended for the last three years. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.